Hello, hello, hello. Milby here. And we're playing a little bit more No Man's Sky. I thought I'd bring you with me. As I finally finish this stupid Atlas quest. Oh, wait, what was that? Was that a. Wait, 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 wait. Was that an anomaly? That's a space anomaly. We gotta go there first. Gotta do those space anomalies. We are almost done with our Atlas quest. I'm so happy. Always hit these space anomalies when you see them, though. They, uh, they give you decent stuff, right? Is that the way in? I think that might be the wrong way around. I think I'm on the wrong side. Is it the back end? That is the wrong side. Oh, God. Don't bounce. Don't bounce. Please don't bounce. I have been playing this game less lately, which is a shame. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm definitely feeling the grind now. The only really real things that I, I need to do now in this game are... Uh, finish off a couple of... Um, journey things. So... Get or get to ten on ships destroyed. Get to ten on warp. Get to ten on discovered species, and get to ten on survive in extreme conditions. That one, I just need to find another extreme planet. So I'm pretty low on that one. And you got to get high on those for um to be able to give stuff into the frog people on those. Because they uh oh the yeah I always forget there's a torch in this. Because this frog guy is always asking for stuff from you. What do you got? Wow, that's a colorful little one. Yeah, I've got my 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 omni tools. My my multi tool is full. Twenty four is a max. I've got thirty on my ship. I need I need a lot more for my ship to get it to what I want it to be. That's gonna take a while, unfortunately. And I've got uh, my full inventory slots and all my atlas stones that I'm gonna be given to the atlas thing. I think I know what happens when you complete the atlas quest. I think it's quite underwhelming, but I figured I'd rec record it happening anyway. Transmit data. Planet zoology scan level one or above. Let's do it. I think this guy will eventually give you an Atlas 2 blueprint. I think it might be random. Because that's like what I really want right now. That's another thing I want to do in this game before I start playing is get all the Atlas blueprints. To open up all the doors. Uh... Right. What's resources? Find sugar. Let's do resources to aid exploration. No. Oh, okay. Well, that was pointless. Oh well. I already know where the black holes are anyway. So. All right. Next time we see one of those guys, we'll give him something else. I think he. I think I. I think people were saying that. I. I know he definitely can give you the atlas, uh, passes like the higher level ones. All right, let's name this station for this system. Oh, I just, damn it, I meant to name it. Whoops. Well, Mukalich Com X, Com X. That's, that's going to be hard to remember. I kind of want to stick around here for a bit. I'll come back here afterwards um, to get a bunch of pills. Because the planet I'm, I was on before, the Alderman Pill Land. Is that what I called it? Albu Alderman Pill Land has got a really nice... Way to make money because it's got album and pills all over it. Although the problem is you do get attacked all the time. Yeah. I just like to write down random like thoughts that pop into my head for names. Okay, we are pretty much there now. Path towards Atlas interface. There it is. Oh no. There it is. Let's go. Let's see how this Atlas uh this Atlas quest will finally end. Here we go, baby. Ooh. Mm. 
This is it. Oh, it just it looks exactly the same as the other ones. But maybe it would look a little bit different. It doesn't. But this is it. This is it. This is all we've this is all we've been working towards for forever. Once I've got this, I think that lets me see all the different wormholes. I think apparently what happens when you give all the Atlas stones to Atlas is that you create like a new galaxy for someone else to play in or something along those lines. I have no idea. It's like for a new game plus, because when you well. Yeah. Oh wow, this place is a lot less filled with stuff than the other one. Yeah, there's a lot less um these lights in here to start. Usually there's just a ridiculous amount of lights to get all these uh, languages from. I love that. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Ooh, it's so creepy though. Yeah, let's get that. Alright, here we go. I'm ready, baby. This is this should be it. Artifact. Warp cell. And a warp cell. Here we go. My dreams complete, a great sense of fulfillment wishes over me. Um, but fades as I realize that for all my efforts, I am unchanged, unbidden. The Atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway, and I realize what is about to happen if I let it. How'd you know that? Birth a new star, ten Atlas stones. The orb floods my mind with an image. A new star has been created at the edge of the galaxy. A new traveler will awaken there. I'm released, free to explore now. I can see the fabric of space, the simulation of black holes. Something. There you go, that's it. Not much happens. You spend a very long time fight cat getting all those stupid atlas stones and it just does a little like, hey by the way, you made a new galaxy for someone else in the world to maybe play on. But there's no proof of that. You've got no there's no actual proof that that's really happened. But at least now I have a much more empty inventory, which is nice. But now I should be able to see all the different black holes in the galaxy. So that is one bonus you get out of it. I thought you could see any black hole. Hmm. Well, I've never been to a black hole before, so I kind of want to check that out as well. So let's do that. I'm actually quite excited for this. Although I do know stuff gets broken when you go into war to black holes. But it should jump me some, like, some time some a massive distance forward towards the center of the universe. I don't really want to get to the center of the universe. I just kind of want to get deeper in. Because apparently there is there is supposed to be better things in... Oh god, jeez, that looks amazing. Whoa. doing it, baby. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like going through the Stargate. Was, was, what's the right voice? Oh. Jaffa Cree. Wait, wait, wait. Jaffa Cree. Jaffa Cree. Let's talk about Jaffa Cakes. Hey, we did it. What broke? Distance traveled 172,000. 
Yeah. Just that? That's fine. Fix that one up right away. Let's see what we own. We're somewhere else. We are nowhere near our old planets anymore. Miles and miles away from where we were. Was that showing a black hole? Oh, of course, it does show black holes. Awesome. Well, there we go. That was That's what happens at the end of the Atlas Quest. You get a little piece of dialogue and it says, Hey, you did it. Well done. It gives you a little pat on the back. And then you don't really know if you actually did anything. You just have to take the game for its word. So I guess my next mission is to find a... Ooh, what are these? Oh, there's systems I went jump between, right? I guess. I'm not 100 sure on that. Yeah, those. Yeah, no, no. The two of those will be. One of those will be the Atlas one. The other one will be a black hole one. So now we're we're a decent chunk closer. I don't know how much closer we were than before. Like I actually don't know where we were. Well, it said how much we jumped, but I don't. Those numbers don't mean anything to me. I can't. I can't quantify numbers like that. Not much will change. The game will pretty much stay the same as it has, it's, which is one of its, you know, major flaws. But um, I did a thing I've been trying to do for a while now, which is get that Atlas shit done, which was annoying me. But it's out of the way. So now I can, if I want to, I can just sort of black hole a lot more down to uh, further into the center of the galaxy. Woo. Hmm. Is there any? Is there any plant animals here? No. Yeah, it does. What did it say? Uh, moderate, standard, non-existent, barren. Okay. That's a pretty. That's a pretty dull planet right here. We need to find we need to find one with extreme weather so that I can just sort of sit there and get the extreme weather journal journey journal achievement what's it called journey journey milestone milestone that's the one apparently they recently updated this not and by update I mean patched like they fixed a bunch of stuff. Mm, that way. I don't really know what they fixed because I haven't really had many problems or any, apart from apart from at the start when it was a bit it was a bit uh, clunk clunky and then it fixed itself. But yeah, nah. I think we're getting to the point now where most people who are doing this are doing like long term YouTube series seem to be. Either realizing that this is not something they'll be able to do for ages, or have just the ability to make anything, any anywhere entertaining. Mm, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a thing. What is this? Is this right next to me? <gasps> Ooh. I want to find one of those um, those gateways that you can apparently pop through. Those sound kind of exciting. I think they exist. I'm assuming they're in the game. They're like uh, you kind of like go through them, and it takes you to a completely different planet, for like way further in close to the core. But you have to come back. Oh man, it is like stupid late right now. But I I fell asleep at like nine ish or something like that. Because it was, um, I was crazy tired. Because I didn't sleep much uh, earlier. Because I went to see, ooh, yuck. I went to see Jazz in Cardiff. My girlfriend, not, not, not like the music jazz. I didn't go to Cardiff to go listen to jazz. That'd be strange. <laughs> you went all the way to Cardiff and to jazz? Wow, that's pretty. Pretty amazing, dude. 
What are all these things, these dots it's showing me towards? Underground, is it saying? Like, hey, go underground. This planet is dull. Every time I find planets for you guys, they're always really dull. There are good ones, just not many. So I guess my life now is going to be fixing up ships. Finding ships, getting better ships, fixing them up. Maybe heading towards warp, 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 mm. Try that again. Heading towards black holes. Try and sort of get us, like, way further into the center. So that we can, uh, maybe, maybe you'll find better stuff. It says you're supposed to apparently find better stuff as you get in. I don't really know what that means, because you, you pretty much find anything anywhere, but maybe you're more likely to find better stuff. Better ships, maybe even different ships, who knows. I definitely think the, the, uh, those robot guys get more aggressive the closer you get. Um, I gotta fix my, my jigger. You know, I figured out why it is sometimes I just, I'm not, like, feeling it when I record. Beyond the usual. A large part of it is if I overheat. I have my fan next to me. It's not on right now, because it, it would... I mean, I don't know. I, I stream a lot of it on, and it, you can't really hear it over the, over the, in the background. So I probably... I might record of it on more often, honestly. But I find if I kind of have my fan on while I'm recording, um, I don't, like, overheat as fast as I normally do. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a big... I'm a heating guy, you know? I overheat very, very fast. It's, um... It's a pain. It's a pain. Do you guys like that's one of the reasons I always wear. I said I said this many times. It's one of the reasons I wear tank tops so much because I, if I wear t-shirts, I just overheat and I sweat and then they're ruined. Tank tops. I can sweat all day, baby. I can sweat all day. Life hack. Hot guy, get a tank top. I don't mean like hot as in like, hey, you're a hot guy. I mean hot as in, temperature wise, you heat up fast. It's not great with me and Jazz, because me and Jazz are both kind of like that. We, heat, we both heat up quite fast, so we're like, when we try to go to sleep, oh my god, it's like a radiator in the bed, basically. It's horrendous. I'm sweaty. I sweat a lot in bed as well. It's not nice. You don't want to be next to me. I'm just a sweaty bobetti. Uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, what's this? Emerald! Well, that's nice. Emerald's great. It's so... It sells for so much money. Why am I wandering around this planet? It has neither the extreme conditions that I require. Nor does it have the, um... The creatures that I need. It has none of what I need on it, just random materials, and I'm for some reason I'm sticking on here. Get out of here, you bum hole. Well, I'm glad that we got to do a, a, a black hole and the Atlas quest. Maybe if you were out there wondering, hey, what is the Atlas quest? But man, this place has got a ridiculous amount of iridium. I haven't found a planet with this much iridium on it in ages. If only I could find. Bloody Chrysonite. That'd be amazing. This stuff is ridiculously hard to find. Just insane. It's it should be the most it should be called the rarest of the rare. The only way I ever get Chrysonite these days is when I buy it. When I go into ports. Because I always have I was trying to make sure I have 500 of each of these here. And you know, I never have 500, it's got no Christ tonight. And these, of course, the, the very rares. I've got 500 Kallium. That took a while. These ones, I've never actually seen any other, anything other than Kallium on a planet. These ones I just bought from traders. Every time I see those in like a cellar or like a trader somewhere, I just buy them up. Because they're not too expensive and I've got 
Was it 17 million now? I'm kind of saving money. I'm, I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to buy like a, a big jump up and upgrades or if I just want to kind of keep fixing up crappy ships I find and then just keep saving money, keep, keep, keep saving money. And then maybe if I ever see like amazing ship that I just have to get, then I'll just, you know, blow my money on that. Because some of them get crazy expensive. So I'm sure someone said they saw like a 14 million. 40, sorry. 14, not 14, 40 million. Uh, Majigabob. Dude, I hate that. Why you gotta do that? Phase, like phasing in thing as I'm, come, I'm up towards you. Uh, six minutes away. Eh, it's not that far away. Six minutes away. Eight minutes away. Well, I guess it's faster to go this way now. We've wandered off so far on this barren, dead-ass planet. Is there any zinc here? What was that? That's just iron. Actually, I probably do need a bit of iron. Oh, my throat feels so funky. I think I'm going to stay up now and just record. My sleep is so messed up. I don't have, like... I just, like, sleep when I'm tired, regardless of what time it is. And then work when I'm awake, regardless of what time that is. Because, like... I don't have... I don't have a normal day of... You know, of, of getting up at the same time and being work at that time. I'm, I have a day of getting up whenever, sleeping whenever, be trying to trying trying to record things when I'm as awake as I possibly can. That's kind of like my goal. Is I, I want to get I want to record stuff when I'm as sort of with it as I as I can be, so that I can sort of be as entertaining as possible. Because, I mean, there's a lot of jobs out there. I'm not saying I have a particularly demanding job, because I don't. But um, there's a lot of jobs out there where, you know, if you go in, you can kind of go in and zombie it. And it's quite hard to zombie this. Because when you do, it, it does show. And it's it's not nice to look back on your editing stuff and be like, oh, my God. Well, <laughs> this is terrible. This isn't entertaining to rewatch, to edit, or anything. That's usually like that's usually a good tell for me. Is like if I enjoy editing it, then I feel like I've probably done a decent job. Yikes! Oh, there we go. Where am I going again? That way. Three minutes. All right. Hopefully there'll be a uh, ship caller over. Oh. Man. Give me give me goddamn Give me big ships. Give me big star base ships and I'll be happy. That way I can have something to work on. Sort of improving that. You know, building up stuff. Maybe have some reason to use all these crazy ass materials. These. You never use Herox, you never use Chromium. Aronium, Magmox, like what? Are, why are those there? I don't get. I I feel like the only reason they're there is to turn less expensive materials into more expensive materials. But a lot of time, the amount of stuff you need for each of them is just not worth going for all that. So I I honestly have no idea what the real big purpose of those is. Is it just a money money making thing? But if it is, then it's it doesn't really work very well for me. Oh my god, this is so big. That's a, so much aluminium. How much do we get from like a 200 stack of that? 41,000. And we get 68,000 from Emerald. That's pretty, that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big jump. Emerald, definitely the most, I mean, I don't know, very rare stuff obviously is also very expensive. I mean, how much do we get for that? Like 144 for 500 of those. Yeah, I mean, those are obviously very 
good to get as well. But you just you don't find those as much as emerald. You can find emerald in like massive, massive stockpiles, which is the good part. I don't want to spend all day doing that right now, so I'll just leave it. Let's just go see what this advanced thing is, and then we can call it for now. And that'll be another random little adventure of me in space. As you saw me on my journey to acquire all the things. I acquire all the things. Do my best to remember to get these out once a week, because sometimes like, time passes and I don't realize how much time has passed. That's the worst part of me in my life, is time passes and I just don't realize how much time has passed. Like, I'll be busy working, and then my friend's are like, yo, I haven't seen you in like a week or two. And I'm like, what? They're like, yeah. I'm like, holy shit, you're right. I'm sorry. Not intentional at all. Wow, there's two. Really close. And I think. I think interesting. Where's that? No, it's like behind. Whoa, look at that ship. That's pretty cool. Got your little... You're taking selfies? It looks like they're always taking selfies or taking photos of me. Making that money. Making so much money. Making some money, not loads of money, but at least a little bit of money. Although I can pull a ship over from right here onto this platform, of course I can. Oh, I didn't uh, check what, you, what I can buy from him. Can I buy Christonite from you? Also, how much is your ship? <laughs> I need to check two things: Christonite and your ship. I probably won't. Like, I probably won't buy a ship. I probably I won't buy it. I'm just gonna tell you right now: I'm not gonna buy a ship. I don't care what you got on there. Uh, no, it's shite. Oh god, I gotta forget to, Hang on, hang on a minute, I gotta fish. I just gotta see I gotta see the slots. I have to torture myself by seeing what I'm not gonna buy. What I could have. Oh, it's terrible. Three million? Come on, I sneeze three million units. Three million space bucks. That's a much better name for it. I like space bucks. Uh, I don't even know if I can go with like their standing anymore. I feel like I probably reached the highest. I haven't seen Traveler at the Atlas change for a very long time. Unknown life form. Clearly unknown life form intelligence. Something. Point to the electronic rifle. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I only find those that are like lower than what I have now. I never find any higher. This guy's basically got what the other guy had. Granite. Why oh, I want to buy granite? I don't get it, man. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get what this, what half the stuff they're trying to sell you in this is. Whoa, there's another ugly, ugly ship. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching another random little video of me wandering around in a space game that is shallow, but. Fun for a time. I mean, how many hours have I spent in this now? 80 hours, apparently? Man, how have I spent 80 hours in this game? Well, no, I have streamed very long. I have done, like, very long streams of this. Because it's, it's a very easy game to stream and zone out. Like, that's probably at its best. That's probably where it's at its best. Anyway, I'm going to probably go see other things. and Maybe we'll find exciting stuff to see. Maybe next time you see me, I'll have like a much better ship. Who knows? Maybe I won't have actually touched this game much. We we have we have honestly no way of knowing. I'm starting to yawn now. Maybe I'll go lay down again. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I've been Milby. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave the comments and and you don't you fall and you, 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 you can do all the things. You can love me, love me, like me, kiss me, hug me. Bye bye.